Have you experienced driving a car going into different type of roads? Have you gone to trekking or climbing the stairs? Or have you experienced unloading an object using a ramp, which is one of the simple machines? These real-life experiences are just some of the application of concept of slope to real life. Now, in the context of line, how do we determine the slope of a line? Will it be possible to find the slope of a line by just the two given points? Just stick around and I will teach you how to learn this lesson in an easy way. If you are new to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for you to get updated every time I will upload new math videos made easy for you. Have you experienced driving a car or riding on a car going uphill? Suppose this car going to this kind of road and also this car. Which of the two cars having trouble in gaining their speed? And this can be illustrated by this kind of line going up. Or what about you are going downhill? Suppose in this kind of road. Which road? You need more your brake in order for you to slow down your car. And this can be illustrated by this kind of line. And a situation wherein the car is traveling in an even surface or flat surface can be best illustrated by a horizontal line. In a natural phenomenon, it is impossible for a car to travel a 90 degrees road. At some point, there are cases that it is possible for an airplane. This can be illustrated by a vertical line. Vertical line. When the line is going up or going down, this is the line that goes up, that goes down, that moves horizontally. This illustrates the slope of a line. The slope of a line in mathematics, or the gradient of a line, is a number that describes both the direction and the steepness of a line. It is denoted by a letter M. It is calculated by finding the ratio of the vertical change to the horizontal change between any two distinct points on the line. In layman's term, we call it rise over run. The steepness, incline, or grade of a line is measured by the absolute value of the slope. The slope with a greater absolute value indicates the steeper line. The direction of the line is either increasing, decreasing, horizontal, or vertical. The line is increasing if it goes up from left to right, and the slope of this line is positive, which means m is greater than 0. A line is decreasing if it moves down or goes down from left to right, and the slope of this line is negative. If a line is horizontal, the slope is 0. And this is called a constant function. And if a line is vertical, the slope is undefined. In this case, this is positive slope, so it is increasing. The cars are going up, so the slope of the road is positive. In this case, the road is going down, so the slope is negative. And this is horizontal, which means that the slope is zero. And lastly, it is vertical, so the slope is undefined. The slope of a line, so if this is point 0.1, to so take note in an ordered pair, the first number is always the x, the second number is always the y. And the coordinate of point 0.1 in this Cartesian plane is 2 and 1. Suppose we have another point here, which is point 0.2, so this is the x sub 2 and y sub 2. So the coordinate of this point is 4 and 4, both of them in the first quadrant. So according to the postulates that two points can determine a line, so if we connect these two points, so we have a line. So how do we determine the steepness, the slope, the grade of this line? So again, the slope is rise over run, and this is the vertical change from point 0.1 to point 0.2 over the horizontal change from point 0.1 to point 0.2. So in other words, from this point, if this will point one is our reference, so how many units will it take for this point 
to arrive here. So what is our vertical distance and the horizontal distance so that this point will fall on this second point? So basically, we will just count the number units since this is a number line. The vertical distance from this point up to this point is 3. So after going up here, so we will count two units going right. It is positive 3 because from here we are going up. Then it is positive 2 because from here we go right. So the slope of this line is positive 3 halves. So what if we start here and going to this point? So how many units will it take for this point to reach the second point? So from here we go down for 3 units. So that would be negative 3. Then from this point we go left. So that would be negative x so our vertical distance is negative 3 and our horizontal distance is also negative 2 so negative 3 divided by negative 2 still positive 3 halves so the slope of this line is positive 3 halves this is point 1 the coordinate is negative 4 and positive 4 and this is point 2 the coordinate is 2 and 1 so this is the line that passes through these two given points so what is now the vertical distance of this line? So the vertical distance, so how many units will it take for them to reach here? If this is our reference, so from here, we count 1, 2, 3 units down. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is our horizontal distance. So the slope is negative 1 half. Supposing our reference point is the point 2. So how many units will it take? So goes up so one two three so that would be positive three and the run and the run is one two three four five six so that, that would be negative six so simplify still the slope is negative one half so the slope of this line that passes through negative four and four two and one is negative one half suppose point one is negative four and three and that's point two is three and 3. So connect them. So what is the slope? So in this case, we don't have vertical change because we did not move up nor down. So from here, we just move horizontally. Therefore, in this case, our vertical change is 0. However, in our horizontal change, we move to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units. So that would be 7. Simplify. 0 divided by 7 is 0. Same is true. If we start from point 2 as a reference, so the slope still 0. What if the point 1 is 2 and 5 and point 2 is 2 and negative 1? Connect them. So what is the slope of this line? Uh, point 1 is our reference, so it goes down by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units. And we didn't have the horizontal change or horizontal distance, so the denominator or horizontal change is 0. Any number divided by 0 and that is undefined. The same is true if we point to is our reference point. Suppose we will just have the two points. Can we find the slope of a line just the given two points? Suppose this is point 1 and this is point 2. So if you connect them, this is the line. So, we are talking about the slope. Mathematically, slope is delta y over delta x, which means the change of y coordinates over the change of x coordinates. The vertical change over the horizontal change. When we get the horizontal or the vertical change, we just subtract the y and x coordinates of those two given points respectively. So therefore, slope is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So suppose we have these two points. This is point 1 and point 2 and we are asked to find the slope. So this is uh, the second point. So this is our x sub 2 and this is our y sub 2. In the first point, this is our x sub 1 and this is our y sub 1. According to the formula, so this is y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So for our y sub 2 minus our y sub 1 is negative 2 all over 4 our x sub 2 minus 2 our x sub 1. So simplify. 
So negative times negative would be a positive. So 4 plus 2, that would be 6. And 6 divided by 2, that would be 3. So the slope of this line by just these two points is 3 or 3 over 1 find the slope of a line that passes through negative 3 and 2 and 4 and negative 1. So if this is our first point, so this is our x sub 1 and y sub 1 and this would be our x sub 2 and y sub 2. So the formula again, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So substitute our y sub 2 is negative 1. Always copy the minus sign. Our y sub 1 is 2 all over 4 then minus our x sub 1 is negative 3. So simplify negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3 all over. So 4 negative times negative would be positive. So positive 3. So further simplification. So negative 3 over 7. So the slope is negative 3 over 7. So find the slope of a line that passes through points 4 and 5 and negative 2 and 5. So this is our first point. So this is our x sub 1 and y sub 1. The second point, so x sub 2 and y sub 2. Substitute to the formula. So 5 minus 5 all over negative 2 minus 4. So 5 minus 5 is 0. Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. 0 divided by negative 6 is 0. So therefore, the slope of this line that passes through points 4 and 5 and negative 2 and 5 is 0. So find the slope of the line that passes through points negative 3 and 1 and negative 3 and negative 5. This is our point 1 and this is our point 2. Substitute to the formula, our y sub 2 is negative 5 minus 1, our y sub 1, all over negative 3 minus negative 3. Okay, negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6. So negative 3, we just copy. Negative times negative becomes positive 3. So negative 3 plus positive 3, they are additive inverse. So their sum is 0. So any number divided by 0 is undefined. So the slope of the line that passes through these two given points is undefined. And if you like this video, kindly hit the like button. And in the comment section, kindly send me your thoughts about this video and how could I possibly help you in learning math lesson in an easy way. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.